John Malloy, Superintendent of the Aspen School District with another real-time story. Today I have Caroline Hansen, the queen of our robotics program for the district. Caroline, welcome and tell us how long the program has been operating. Well, thank you. Uh, just about 10 years. 10 years and it's grown virtually from no students to Absolutely. how many students participating today. So the first year I had four students sitting on the floor uh, working with Lego Mindstorms and now there are over 100 students involved from uh, really fourth grade all the way up through high school. Fantastic. And um, what has been uh, an important takeaway for you with the students who have been participating in the robotics program? What I have loved seeing is watching the kids apply what they learn and also watching them grow from fifth grade or sixth grade and working with Lego Mindstorms to solving the problems on this big field here and going from robots that are really kit built to robots that come out of their imagination. Fantastic. And I know we're heading into a tournament this weekend. Can you share with the audience what really takes place? I can. So this is first tech challenge and so this one we have a field just like you have a basketball court we have a robot field and there will be 17 teams from around the state of Colorado most from the western slope. We have two here in Aspen and then there's a team at CRMS, one at Roaring Fork, one at Glenwood and the rest I think there are two from Denver, some from Grand Junction and West Grand. So the kids will come together they will work as an alliance partner with another team and they will try to solve the problem of this field and try to score as many points as they can in two and a half minutes. Fantastic. Thank you very much. You're welcome. I'm uh, with a member of the Backcountry uh, Robotics team. Uh, please uh, identify yourself for the audience. Hi, I'm Jeremy and I'm a sophomore. And uh, Jeremy will be competing in the robotics competition this weekend and I see Jeremy that we have uh, the robot next to us. And what are your uh, team members doing at the moment? Uh, right now we're putting some finishing touches on the robot to make sure that it's, it's fully optimized or as optimized as we can get it for the competition on Saturday. Um, so that means we're just working on making it drive better. Uh, we're fixing some gear racks. We're basically just trying to get it as foolproof as it can be before we start driving it on Saturday. And what are some of the um, requirements uh, for the competition as you uh, look ahead? Yeah, there's actually quite a lot of things happening with just one robotics team. Um, there's sort of three primary sections. There's one, you have to make the robot drive by itself using um, a pre-programmed pre script. Um, you have to be able to drive the robot. You have to, using controllers, and make it do certain tasks. And then there's also a section called the Engineering Notebook, where we sort of discuss our process, discuss sponsors, discuss our plans for the future as a team, things like that. Fantastic. And if you would, you've been in the robotics program for how long? I've been since, since I can remember, since fourth grade when they were first I think, testing out FLL teams, first Lego League teams, and I've gone all the way up through the program. Very good. And what would be a takeaway? What, what have you appreciated about belonging in the robotics program? You know, it's a real sense of community. I've grown up with all of these guys on the team doing the same things, and it really allows for people doing robotics. People doing robotics really have a sense of creativity and sort of community. I can do what I want, I can make, make my own way of doing it, I can program my own thing, I can write my own thing, and I can do all of that while working in a team with my friends. Excellent. Well, as you can see, this is not the uh, Lego set from the 1980s. There's uh, a lot of collaboration, there's problem solving, uh, innovation going on here. And uh, we truly appreciate the work that Carolyn has done and uh, the effort that these young people are putting in in the robotics program. Uh, this has been another real-time story. Thank you for joining us.